What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecoli Espresso and welcome back to the countdown. Now 13 days out, we are getting so close, it's unbelievable to advanced warfare. I am extremely excited, hopefully you guys are too. Today I'm going to be jumping on the bandwagon because I've seen a lot of videos like this. Some of them not as detailed as others and some of them actually don't cover a lot of information that you should know about the topic. That topic being how to get advanced warfare early. Now normally I wouldn't do a video like this because it's a little bit out there and not really guaranteed in any way, shape or form depending on what your circumstances are, but I've been asked so many times by a ton of people how to get the game early, what's my hookup, all that kind of stuff. By people upwards of 50 to 75,000 subscribers, stuff like that, I get DMs on Twitter all the time asking me about it, so I figured, you know what, I'll share a little bit of knowledge not telling you guys exactly who I'm getting it from. Not anything in terms that could get me in trouble with Activision or anything like that either, but just some basic knowledge that can help you guys make your search for an early copy a little bit easier. So what we'll be talking about today is how you can go about getting it early, some of the hookups and all that kind of stuff, and then what you should do and what you shouldn't do if you do actually become one of the lucky few to get an early copy of the game, however many days it may be. First things first, again, there is no guarantee with any of this. It's all going to depend on the situation, the circumstances, and the people willing to sell you the copy of the game if they are in fact legit. The next thing being money shouldn't be an issue for you. If you're going to be one of the people that want it only for $60, wait until until launch, wait until day zero to get the game because chances are you're not going to find somebody that's just going to give you it for 60 bucks however many days you want it early, whether that be three to five days, whatever it is, you're not going to find it for $60. It's going to be more. It's going to be a marked up price. Now, there are really two ways that you can go about it in the ways that I see it. You can go online and do some searching or you can do some local shopping around your area, looking for people in the area with hookups or that are the hookups themselves. There are a few websites, the most known of those being the superkids.com usually and in previous years they would get you the game about four to five days early but it would cost you an arm and a leg probably about 160 to 200 dollars depending on where you lived and with shipping this year however though i wouldn't recommend it i wouldn't recommend going to them because you're only going to be getting the game on the saturday depending on how your overnight shipping works that being said, the game launches Monday, so 200 bucks for an early copy of a day and a half to two days, I don't really see that being worth it. Maybe if you got it like four or five days early, 200 would be an all right price and it would be something justifiable, but only a day and a half to two days early, I wouldn't really recommend that. Other than that though, you can try places online like Craigslist and eBay, places like that, but you do have to realize that there can be seller illegitimacy there. You can't always trust the people you're buying from on those sites and if it is Craigslist you're most likely gonna have to meet up with the person which is something that is always dangerous in itself you don't ever want to go by yourself to a meetup like that you always hear stories of people being held up when they go to meets like this for a fake copy and then they just get scammed out the wazoo or something like that so just be careful with that kind of stuff use your proper judgment those are viable options sometimes but most of the times it's just a pipe dream you're not gonna be able to find anything really worth it there so if you do decide to go last resort to Craigslist or eBay or something like that, another bidding site or local meetup site like that. Just be careful, use your common knowledge, and just be smart overall about it. So in all honesty, that online stuff can kind of look dismal whenever you look at it. So where are your actual options in terms of getting a copy early? Well, your best bets would probably be mom and pop shops around your area. What I mean by that are locally owned shops. Mostly they're family owned. They don't actually have any corporate affiliation with Activision or any other larger chain. There are chains that are local and don't have a corporate aspect to it where they have legal terms with Activision and all these other game developers. They're just the retailers, the resellers of the games to their general public market in the areas in which they're located. So a lot of these places will have local shops around you. Chances are there are some shops you don't even know about in your area. Take a look around your town, try and scout out some of these places. And then what you're gonna wanna do after that is call them up and see if they'll be willing to sell you a game. A lot of the times they'll probably say no because it is standard standard store protocol. They're trying to say no to that kind of stuff, but if you do get lucky, that's a local hookup for you and probably is going to be a lot cheaper than an online source for 120 bucks, 160, 200, whatever it may be. So those are your best options right there in terms of finding it and being safe with your transaction pretty much. A lot of people will think that you can go in and ask GameStop, Best Buy, all 
these other corporate places, they'll flat out deny you without any hinting of otherwise, meaning yes, they will. They physically cannot. They have stocks in the thousands of the games, and every single one is accounted for in inventory, all that kind of stuff. They don't want to get sued by Activision. They don't want to get sued by any game developer or company. They just want to sell their games, keep their licensing, and keep their business going. Anything that would upset that flow of the food chain, that would be extremely detrimental to their business, and I don't think that they would risk it just for one random person just to be a kind soul. So to circle back on that whole part of getting it early, uh, like I said, there are options you can go online to get it, but just be very, very careful if you do decide to look in that realm of everything. Local shops are your best bet. Call them up. You're going to have to be vocal with what you want to say and what you want to get across, but if you really want the game early, I don't think that these extra couple steps will really hurt you that much. So now the last thing that we're going to talk about today is what you should do and what you shouldn't do whenever you actually do, by lucky chance, get the game early. Let's start off with what you should do. Firstly, you should enjoy the game. You should get that jump start and get used to all the new features in Advanced Warfare, and then you'll have a nice little starting point on everybody else. People will still be getting used to it while on day zero and the actual launch day of the game, and you'll already be accustomed to it all. You can also play the campaign, get that out of the way if you're like me and want to actually play the campaign, but don't want to waste any time jumping into multiplayer as soon as it launches. The whole thing that I really think you should do if you do in fact get the game early is just learn the game for yourself and become a better player at it with a little quicker of an advantage here. Now I'm not sure if servers will go live four to five days before launch again for stress testing and if you do decide to hop on at that point in time, if stats will be reset come launch of day zero, but you can use it to get a jump start on your game. So what shouldn't you do in that case then? Well the first thing being you shouldn't tote any hidden information out around on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, whatever it may be. The more attention you draw to yourself, the more attention you'll get from Activision and larger people, and that puts you at risk. I actually have seen cases of people getting the game taken away from them by Activision, having legal action taken against them for leaking stuff that shouldn't have been there, even though they did not ever sign an NDA. It's just kind of an understood thing. What you can do if you want to be one of those people that shows it off, I guess you could show yourself holding it or something like that in a picture that you post on Twitter and all that, but don't go leaking everything, don't go posting spoilers, don't go posting pretty much anything that shouldn't be known until launch. That again is something that is kind of common sense, but you see all the time, and that's where a lot of our leaks come from, but some of those people that post those leaks do in fact get in trouble. Assuming you get a copy of the game early, is it really that hard to keep the things to yourself for a couple of days here before everybody else? I don't really think it is, but that's just me. So that's really all we're going to talk about here today, guys. I hope that this information did help you out a little bit if you were, in fact, searching for the game early. If not, well, then you got a little insight into something if you get interested in it next year. Let me just think down the, in the comments section down below. Do you think that getting the game early is worth it? But keep in mind, it does depend on person to person and their situations for wanting it and all that kind of stuff. So if there are some disagreeing opinions in there, let it be. Don't cause any fights or anything like that. We're all cool here. We're all bros. But that has been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, be sure to leave a like rating down below. Any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you would like that. I always greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the best of Call of Duty events, Warfare content, and any news information. You guys know exactly where to find it right here up on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Vinny Cola Espresso. As always, because I'm having a great day. I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Surprise, motherfucker.